So this little garden that's right in front of me, definitely, def, definitely, ah, it needs an upgrade. Okay, it needs an upgrade. It's tiny. Look how small it is. And how am I supposed to feed my cows and my sheep with such little hay being grown? And also, it's not very pretty looking. So that's exactly what we're doing today. Today we're going to make ourselves a nice little garden area. Well. Not really a garden area. It not really a garden area. God, I cannot talk for the life of me. But we are going to turn this area into a greenhouse. So I have some plans for a greenhouse, and we're gonna build it right here. But since we're building it right here, we kind of need to move some of these materials. Well, we need to get rid of the dirt. So let's painstakingly get rid of this dirt and some of the trees I think I need to take out as well. So that's going to be fun. I think we have to fill this up so it's not just a cave. Not really a cave but a cavern I guess. That's the more correct term. Gotta get rid of these trees around. We got a lot to do so let's do some little digging and such and I'll move on to the next one we're ready to the next part i guess i don't know tonight at the moment where we're gathering materials but i do know we don't really need to gather the copper that i need for the greenhouse which is a pretty nice thing to know beforehand because in our last episode we went to the child chambers and got a lot of copper so we don't have to worry about the copper. We might need to oxidize some beforehand because I think I just need like two or three more stacks of oxidized copper that I wasn't able to oxidize yet. But that's no worries. Oh man, there's some more pillagers that we got to deal with. Hopefully they stay in that area and not go near us. <laughs> You know, we could just take care of them now. Hold on, actually, I don't have my sword out. Let's have my sword out. Where's the other one? Oh, I missed. I missed. <laughs> okay, I kind of cleared up some of the dirt. I need to fill this up a bit. And now I'm just going to chop down some of these trees. Which is going to be very tedious. But I kind of need a schematic up. So I can know what type of tree needs to be chopped down. So at least knowing the base of the tree would be good enough for me. So let's get chopping down these trees. I hate big trees like this. So tedious to chop down. Alrighty then, so we took down some of the trees nearby, the best that I can in the area that I think I need to remove them in. So I guess right now we could just fill up this empty spot that needs to be filling. <laughs> Since we have some dirt beforehand, so that's not going to be too difficult to do now. So. Oh, God. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, we just need one more layer of dirt. And then hopefully we'll be done with the dirt place. And oh my god, this tree hasn't gone yet. What the heck? Where's the wood in here? Okay, hold on. Ew. I hate these trees. This entire tree stayed up because of one log. Oh my god. Bushes. The bushes to the tree stood up because of one log. One single log. 
please, Minecraft, stop making that, like, happen, please. <laughs> I wish it was, like, the leaves decayed once you break the bottom log. I feel like that would be better. I don't know. Having the leaves decay. Oh, I don't know. All I know is that it's annoying and I want it to be fixed. But I guess there's like mods like Timber that helps with that situation. Am I gonna use all my dirt on this one single project? Oh god, oh no. It's fine, I'm not worried about it. I know technically I don't need to fill it up, that I could just do two layers and then call it a day. But... I don't like it. I don't like doing it. I like to make sure that it's full and empty so no mobs can spawn. And I know I could put torches down to prevent from mobs spawning. I don't know, I feel like it's a bit awkward having just empty space in there, you know? <laughs> Maybe that's just a me thing, but I find it to be quite a bit awkward. But it's okay. We all like build in different ways, and that's just how I am when I'm terraforming. I don't know, I wouldn't really call this a terraforming job, but I don't know. All right, I think the area is now filled to the way that I like it. I have this. I know this area isn't transform. Tele yeah, not. <sighs> what what's that term that we were using earlier? I don't know. It's not landscaped. Okay, I, that's not the term I was looking for, but I can't think of it right now. But I kind of want it to be like that for I don't know, for just giggles and stuff. I think it would look nice when I have the base of the greenhouse filled in. Alright, I think this is the point where we start to material gather. Gather materials. <laughs> I don't know why I said it backwards, but I did and I'm, I'm just silly like that. I'm a silly little guy. We have a long list of materials that we need to get, but most of the materials we have just a little bit of materials so we're starting off with some oak fences then some chests that we need to make more for later and since we're doing a bit of redstone we need a redstone comparator we got ourselves some glass making some barrels made way too many ladders and then i remembered finding lichen in the child chambers so there i went trying to find where i spotted it then we used some bone meal to get some more lichen Acquired some cherry wood as we needed a good amount of that. And some of the logs were turned into planks and trapdoors, but the rest was stripped. I eventually needed more glass, since it's a greenhouse, you know? But I had to find a desert to get 30 or something stacks of stone. No, not stone. Sand! I also got some cactus, which is perfect for green dye that we needed. And I got so desperate for bone meal that I decided to go back to the child chambers and fight some bog skeletons for the bone. The poison is unnecessary, but it's better than regular dungeon spawner. After the sand got cooked, we made some pink glass, white glass, and green glass. We took the bones we got from the trial chamber and used the bone meal to create a moss pit. My plan in the future is to mine this entire chunk out, but for now, moss pit it is. Now, let's get into the building time lapse.
Oh my god. Guys, after spending so long on this build, I finally finished it. I mostly... Okay, it's not completely finished, but I got a lot of the stuff done. All we really need to do is add in the bees. So this whole giant greenhouse, I want it to also be a bee farm. Yes, we're finally having a farm, an automated farm for once in our survival world. First farm, and it's a bee farm. I want this side to produce honey bottles and this side to produce honeycomb. So all I have to do is just add in the beehives. But I haven't done that just yet. Since I was busy building this. But this is supposed to be for the crops. These I want to put uh, beehives on top of. Just so the bees can harvest the crops. But also to have like bees floating around in this area. While the bees in he here are like working. It's like a little beehive themselves. Yeah. It's like a beehive for them. But also in here. So that's why there's like so many doors. There's like three layers of doors. Which actually. We have some doors waiting outside. And I don't know if they're finished oxidizing. Of course they're not. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Guys, I spent 10 hours waiting for the copper to oxidize. I wish I was joking. It took so long to oxidize. I'm actually not even certain if I'll get this out on time. And if I don't have this video out on time, I am so sorry, but I hope you guys can understand. Why do we have an uneven amount of doors? That doesn't make any sense. Is it this way? Yeah, it's this way. Ugh. Okay, it's fine. I just want to finally add some crops in this area and the bees. So let's go add the bees together. Got some bees nest. I took all the bees that was over there in my trees and just harvested them. And then I found one out in the wild when I was trying to get more sand. So that sounds good to me. Oh, also, I want to get some flowers so I can breed up the bees since we don't have a lot of bees. So let me get some flowers so we can make sure we have the maximum amount of bees. There we go. We have 49 of these. We have some corn flowers and we have a poppy. That should be good enough. Now for these ones, I don't want these ones to be harvested. So that's why I'm not putting... A fireplace underneath them. I just want them for purely decorational purposes. Alright, these bad boys need to go into here. So I'll put this one as this one. And this one over here. Because I think these two have bees in them. But yeah, guys, look. This is what the build looks like from the outside. Of course I had to add in some pink because I want to do that in the bills that's in this area. I want to make sure they all have pink in it. Look at the little bees flying around. And then up here I want to add flowers. This is supposed to be for the coral fans that I could find. Which I have found a spot for coral fans. But I need silk touch so that'll be in some time in the future. This is for all the future flowers we can get. And then the bees can roam around. Enjoy the little dangling cherry blossom leaves. Let's hold the ground and let's get some seeds so we could do some planting. There we go. I just hope I don't break this hoe because this hoe has silk touch. Oh my god, we finally tilled the entire area. Now it's time to plant it all. Alright, all of the plant crops that we have so far is now planted. Granted, we did not, we weren't able to fill it all up, but it'll be filled up during time. 
So now it's time for me to breed some more bees, hopefully. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stay in here for a bit and breed up the bees so we can get more bees. But without further ado, thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Look at the little bees, it's spinning. Look at them go. <laughs>